Uh, my part of the program is outdoor ethics. <laughs> this is such an oxymoron for me. I don't go out and intentionally try stuff. Believe me, I don't. But if the boys want to build a big fire, you better stand back. <laughs> uh, now there have been multiple tons of rocks pushed down mountains. I've always made them check to make sure there's nobody down there before they start pushing them. Based on the dinosaur tracks, too. Yeah, and we need to kind of think about the dinosaur tracks. Uh, no, we don't want to roll over any boulders down in the... Yeah, the Goblin Valley. Yeah, that was you too. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah. kind of think of what we're doing, but don't be so strict on that. The boys are not having any fun. That's why trees are renewable resources, so scouts can burn them. Maybe not the whole forest of Uh I did want to bring one thing that I found works great. Uh, as a Tim Lizzy. Uh, we had a, a permanent burn ring in our backyard for multiple years because I was experimenting with different things that we could build a fire on and not kill the grass. But that, with this on the top, you cannot build a fire big enough on here that it'll kill the grass under here. Especially a little bit of dirt on it. Yeah, I could do that too. I, I don't have a lot of dirt around my house. So uh, anyway, the real crutch of the outdoor ethics is go home and read, leave no trace and all that good stuff. Uh, but in my personal opinion, don't let it get in the way of the boys having a good time and learning things uh, while they're on the scout camp. Clark and I were in a Explorer post. We went backpacking all the time. We're in the store as our leader. And every night or every morning, he would come through and check to make sure everything was cleaned up. And it looked like a piece of trash. And one morning, I have to walk home. 